thank goodness I actually had my uh, first property bond still active with that money still available and it being paid up because you've paid them their money but you still have access to their money say it with me now views and opinions expressed on this channel are not and should not be considered as financial advice i'm not a certified financial advisor and not registered with the fsca loko kumbaliwe loko kumbaliwe loko kumbaliwe jazi hey hey kutavu lavu lai mali eh loko kumbaliwe jazi Welcome back to Chat with Desa everyone. It's your favorite favorite song girl. Nwana mani man. Afshen minjan. Nai 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 pukin man. So today we are going to speak about money again, but we're speaking about property. We're back on the property series. You know we we touch and go, touch and go, speak as we experience it i did promise you guys that i'm mainly going to speak about it as i experience it and if i do any extra research i'll only speak about it when i feel confident that i truly understand it because you can only teach something if you truly understand it right exactly so before we get started on today's topic once again let's Cheers to the new subscribers. Let's cheers to the likers. Cheers to the commenters. Cheers to the sharers and day one subscribers. <laughs> to all of you that essentially help this channel to grow. No cancer guys. Really appreciate you guys. Nino Mati, I'm drinking water. Tip it to the screen. Kitling, kitling, kitling. Cheers. And sip. Water is always the first choice. My mother would be so proud. Hmm. If you guys have been following my property journey, you would know that now we are on property number two. And you would also have gotten an idea about the fact that property number two has really been showing me Omlando. <laughs> you know, um, a lot of things happened which i keep alluding to and digesting video by video you know and today i want to talk about the financial unexpected bit when it came to property number two and how i used my access -ish. how do we pronounce it a excess or uh, yeah, because it's two different words. How I used my excess bond from property one that you guys might remember that I made this video where I spoke about how I paid up my home loan in a space of about 17 months, etc. And that was my first home loan. And it wasn't as much money as this property too. Ugh, no, but I had paid it up, but I didn't cancel the bond. I didn't cancel the bond and close the bond account and um, now get my my papers for the property from the bank and etc etc ah I didn't do that process I just paid it up meaning that all that was left was for me to now pay the monthly account fee that home loan account fee there's a fee that you pay per month so I was paying that fee and I was paying the uh, homeowners insurance and Ever so often there would be like some interest of a few cents but nothing substantial but it was paid up so now I still have access to that money now it's done with the a I still have access to that money because it's the ex excess bond <laughs> so um, I still had access to that money and I could withdraw it different amounts not the whole amount and use it for different things so i was like okay seeing that i'm going to be coming home um i do want a personal property a place where i'm going to stay i do want to have a car so hmm there are various ways that i could use this bond again without taking out another loan like any personal loan or um car financing with its crazy interest rates and all of that i'm like i could just use my bond for either 
to supplement the place where I was gonna stay that I was gonna purchase uh, or to buy myself a car like that's what I had in mind honestly um, and with this hata 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 that happened with um, the new home loan I was like thank goodness I actually had my um, first property bond still active with that money still available and it being paid up because you've paid them their money but you still have access to their money you guys know that I like to come with receipts you know that so when you get your quotation from the bank so you've applied for your home loan it's been approved whatever they send you which is your uh, quotation or the offer that they give you that you need to accept and even after that they'll send you like the final quotation and everything in that quotation there'll be a section that is stated as special terms and conditions even if you are only interested in how much they've approved if they've approved a hundred percent of your home loan amount and you're only interested in looking at the interest rate and etc please do yourself this big favor and read the section that says special terms and conditions because there are things that are included there that you might miss that might shake things up for you okay so included in the uh, special terms and conditions was the fact that I have a flexi option facility, right? A flexi option uh, facility or flexi reserve or flexi account or whatever in your bond essentially means that you can use monies that you pay in access. You can actually reuse it. You have access to it. You can take it out and so forth but the bank might have certain rules on the minimum amount that you can take out and the maximum amount that you can take out. So look at those special conditions and look at the rules regarding that flexi uh, option in your bond account, okay? So for my property number one, home loan number one, I was able to take a portion of that money out to help me pay for what was very unexpected on property number two. Like I said, if you guys have been following the property series, you would know that first for property two, I had that 70% approval from my bank. And I was like, 70%? The 30% that I would have to pay is a lot of money because the property was a lot more expensive. Where am I going to come up with that type of money? No ways. And once again, special conditions section. My bank had a special condition and they were saying, you will have to cancel this particular home loan with this account number which is the home loan that i have with them so they could see it is paid up but now they don't want to approve another home loan while i still have access to that money they're like no 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 we are giving you 70 percent we're approving 70 percent and in order for you to have access to the 70 percent for the second home loan that we're giving you, you must cancel the first one. And I was like, no, this is not going to work for me. No. What might work is if I go with another bank, right? And maybe that other bank does not have the special condition, right? And then I could take money from the first home loan that's paid up and use it for any balance that I might have to pay for. Because I had already expected that I would not get a 100% home, home loan um, approval because I am abroad. And banks have certain rules about uh, South African nationals that are living or working abroad in terms of how much they'll approve. So I knew I wasn't expecting 100%. And it doesn't mean that just because you are in South Africa, you're going to get 100%. Nope. You might also not be approved for 100%. So I was like, no, mm -mm. let me go with bank B, right? So bank A was my bank. Bank B, bank B came back and said 85%. That 15% could come from my savings, right? I was confident with that. I was comfortable with that. Everything was fine. Bank B also had what? That section, guys. Special terms and conditions. Special conditions of this loan, right? Bank B also had their own special conditions, right? And the special condition, when I looked at it, I was like, 
no this is fine this is okay shouldn't be a problem this is something the sellers would definitely be able to provide to the bank to see and it would be fine i didn't think too much about it only to find that this process was going to take so long and it was just about to take even longer and be even more tedious. So there was a negotiation that was made with the bank about this special condition. The bank got smart and said, okay, in order for us to remove this condition, um, we are going to reevaluate the amount that we're going to loan you. It's like, okay. And only to find they're going to go down to like 70 something percent, something very close to what my bank had offered. I was getting so frustrated with the process that I was like, should I rather just go with my bank? No, it doesn't make sense because I still need that money that's in, that's been paid up, that's in that home loan account to pay to help me pay this balance but now the balance that i have to pay has grown because bank b came back and said okay because of the special condition section ma'am that we are gonna waiver we're gonna only approve x amount which is now lower than that 85 percent <sighs> so it was that balance that i had to now pay and you have to pay it up front by the way not nothing can be processed until you can prove to the bank and to the sellers and everyone involved that you can pay that balance right so you didn't get a hundred percent home loan now this is on 70 something percent of an approval i need to prove that i can pay this money and i need to pay it in advance into the lawyer's account and they will take that money and invest it in in, in a trust for the duration of the process of the sale which is something, which is another aspect of this property journey that we'll speak about, right? Now, this money, I have to send it to them. Where am I going to find it? Because I already sent them the 15% when it was an 85% approval. Now I have to send more money. And on top of that, I also have to pay for what? The lawyer fees that we discussed in the previous video. That shocking amount of 116000 396 rand to top it all off now with the now with now bank b saying um we're, we're taking away 85 percent now it's going to be 70 something percent because of the removal of the special condition um so that meant i needed to pay something that's equivalent to essentially close to 500k yeah close to 500k so <laughs> no i don't have that type of money where am i gonna get no nobody nobody can borrow me that money so i withdrew money from my first home loan account and i paid for lawyer fees and paid for that balance okay and wiped out my savings as well in order to make these payments now if i didn't have access to that money i was gonna I have to just let go of this property altogether because there's no ways this was going to happen and there's no ways i was going to take out a personal loan to to cover the balance and to cover the lawyer fees you know um so here's one thing i've learned about money and loans in this process your home loan is that it's 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 that good debt to have you know, this is what i would tell young Adessa about Shkweleti, you know i would say this forget about having five accounts okay forget about that focus on maybe having one or two whatever you need just enough for you to build your credit score this are you're working get yourself a home loan in your home loan go for a longer term Property one, home loan one, I deliberately, me, myself, put in my own term. Like the, the how long the, the, the loan is going to be for. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, whatever. I, I was like, I don't want a loan for many, many years. There's no ways I'm going to choose 30, 20 years, wada, 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 wada. Because I don't want to pay for that long. No, no, no. The, the longer the term, actually... 
does not necessarily mean you have to take that amount of time to pay it that's not what it means but a longer term essentially it says to you i have more time to make use of this money so for example second property second home loan the term is way longer than the first one the first home loan even if i pay it up again i have a very short time frame in which i need to pay back that money but with the second home loan it also does have that flexi option right but also it, because it's a different bank as well they might have different rules about the flexi option that i need to stay very aware of okay so because it's a longer term i can actually next time when i pay up home loan number one again right because i've used that money now i'm gonna have to start paying it up again when i pay it up again i feel like it would be safe to close it and cancel it and get my title deed and go through the whole process which would require lawyer fees as well again and have this home loan that has more money and a longer term pay in access and have that money available to loan to myself again for another property or to buy a car instead of taking out a personal loan or taking out car financing so that's what i would tell young desa that babe first focus on being able to qualify for a home loan because your home loan will be a lower interest than you'll get on any other debt okay pay up any extra amount into your home loan and keep doing that even if you pay up your home loan or it's half paid up or 20 percent paid up or whatever any money that's in access look at it as money that you can use that if you want a car go get it there from your home loan borrow money from your home loan account because the interest rate there will definitely be lower than any interest that you will probably be charged for any other credit but i'm still contemplating about that first home loan that when i do pay it up again will i close it i think i'll have to assess and look at what's going on in my life do i need a loan do i need car finance do i i would rather take from my home loan but always read the special conditions and find out what are the rules regarding that excess amount in your home loan that you can access again and use okay that's how i made it that's how i did it and um it's really crazy it's really really crazy how much i paid it's 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 for me when i look at it i'm like this is equivalent to buying a house in some neighborhoods you know but let's hope that it will be all worth it let's hope it will be all worth it we're almost there so anyone that has a lot like anyone that has a home loan that has a longer term and the interest rate is you know it's okay it's not too high look at that as almost having access to a credit facility that you can use over and over again as long as you follow the rules regarding your flexi um option that might be on your home loan with your bank because banks will differ right and they can revoke it they can be like yeah even if you paid extra monies here you can't take it out or you can only take out x amount and not x amount so find out but with my bank i just took some money out and it did it, it, it went out i was like oh okay but i did get when i took the money out i did get a notification from the bank that said that my my debit order amount has now changed because for the longest time it was it was nothing right it was just like i said the account monthly account fee so now there's a change that uh, now you're gonna pay x amount in the upcoming debit order so i did get that notification to let me know that i'll be paying a certain amount and i was ready for that so 
if you knew me as that Zonga girl who paid up her home loan in 17 months we're back to square one <laughs> now you should know me as that Zonga girl who has more than one home loan cry with me now Guzolunga. how must we come home hmm now we must stay in China forever now to help pay up these home loans again. Eh? Now, now the plans go shaky, go, go tricky, go wowie. Eh? David, orders are coming. Ah, yeah, yeah. And that's all from me today. Green hearts, white hearts for watching all the way till the end. Thank you, Nikansa everyone. 